Hey guys, welcome to <laughs> Sip, Savor, and Celebrate. I'm, I'm your host, Devin, and this is your host, Chris. How you doing? Anyway. We appreciate it when you subscribe and you like us and yes. come interact Please. with us on YouTube, Instagram, and Make Facebook. Comment. Yes, let us know. What is your favorite tequila? Do we have it? Would or you... should we buy it? If we don't have it, what should we buy? You tell us what we should be trying. So that way, just in case you don't have it, but we do, we can let you know what we think. Do you think we should battle? Oh. Because, ooh, we are on our second, third battle. Yeah, third that's battle true. with, that's with, true. with uh, the Tequila Headhunter. He was our third battle. You know, that's right. we do enjoy putting tequila against tequila. I'm having a blast. I'm having a great time doing this. So what we brought you today, this one is one I couldn't wait to try <laughs> because the bottle is so good looking. It Look reminds it. me of... Of like the old moonshine days. Thank you. Thank you. The, the prohibition days. It's called Kokoro. Kokoro. Look and at it that thing. All Isn't that cool? This is from a long... From Nam 1604, not Alam, but from Nam 1604. 1604 made its 40% alcohol by volume. They only make two expressions. This is the Plata. They do make a Hoven. Um, but you want to talk about humongous on TMM, the scores. This is an 87 by the panel, but 90 by the community. That's huge, guys. That many people that agree that this is so huge. So let's see, how is it made? Number one, it's 40% alcohol by volume. It is, the agave is from the Los Altos, which is the Highlands. I get that on the nose. Right, so they say some of the Highlands are some of the best places to get some of the agaves that are made into... Oh, sorry. Let me bring that over here. Uh, fermentation. It is open-air fermentation. Wood fermentation tanks. Stainless steel copper pots coils for the steels. Uh, crushing it. They use a tahona. And that's old school. Tahona. Correct. Uh, distillation, two times. Uh, they use a stone brick oven to cook it. And for their water source, they use deep well water. Now, I'm reading some of the things that people get off of this, so I'm, I, I'm keeping it from you because I okay. want to know what you think that you get. It is on the nose. It is very surprising because it's very earthy out of the bottle. Um, and now, almost... we are using these, and they're only 18 bucks. We're not using the Denver Agave, or the Denver and Lively, Lively. Uh, Agave, but they're very similar. The only difference is, is the Denver and Lively are longer, yeah, so it gives taller. it a little bit more to open up. Um, 18 honestly, bucks. 18 bucks. Question on, on for you. If you had this or our normal glass, the Glen Karen, which one do you prefer? This one, because I spill less on me. <laughs> I was going to say the opposite. The Glen Karen, I spill less because I've learned really? to swirl the pour. All right. um, but I do like these because I'm not getting tequila on the nose. Yeah, you seem to stir your tequila with your nose. Your, your nose is a big schnozzer. I'm just saying. But hey, you know, you got to get all up in there to get all the suns. <laughs> Ooh. On the smell? I was perplexed on this smell. I'm still perplexed on this smell. So go really? ahead and let us know what you think. Agave and number one citrus. agave. Number one agave. Citrus and kind of earthy vegetal. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I wasn't I get the same thing. So I wasn't too far off because, like, I we said, don't normally agree, but on this one, we like really I agree. said, it was very perplexing, and so I didn't want to leave you to to believe the same thing I do. But no, I get that. 
And almost, I would almost so like on the very end of it, mm-hmm. I get a little bit of a olive brine. We're talking small. Number one, agave. Number one, because you're one. gonna think I'm crazy for this. But do you know how a Milky Way smells? Are you high? No, I've only been drinking tequila. <laughs> Like, Dear Lord. like how the Milky Way itself smells like that. I get no chocolate. Like that caramel. Um, it's a beautiful. It's oh, a beautiful. I don't disagree. This is one of my top favorites so far. It's I don't disagree, huge. but if it I had to put my nose to something, I would nose it to an, a Milky Way. You know how we were just doing last week? The Don Palato. You uh-huh. know how much like prominent flavors that we Correct. are getting on the nose. Correct. I get this. And guys, but a please, bit. if you haven't seen that, check us out. Because mm-hmm. we also had a Gus Tequila Head Hunter with us. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit. This is the last one for the night. But it's beautiful. Check us out on Instagram as well. <laughs> Instagram? As... Are you drunk? Maybe <laughs> no. A bit. As well as Facebook. Uh, <laughs> you were slurring pretty bad. Keep in yeah. mind, I really, I have, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of relaxed on Facebook only because every time I seem to post new videos, they challenge us as to whether or not this content is appropriate. And so then I go through 30 days of challenging them to keep our account opening. Well, that's too bad. And then they do. And so it gives us another 30 days. So that is why, honestly, we appreciate that 42% of our views are coming from Facebook. But that is why I kind of haven't been posting our new content. So please check us out on YouTube or Instagram. Because... They do don't want the us there. I do a lot of the monitoring on Instagram. And, and, and Facebook, we split. As yeah, well. so, and then, so what's and then, weird is or, that sorry, Facebook, YouTube, we split. Facebook has us with two different ones. I don't know why. That's okay. weird. So, like, on Instagram, I like to do, and you'll, if, if you're following us on Instagram, you'll notice I'm asking you. What is your favorite, or what's in your glass? Because I do I enjoy. Do, I and, and I've gotten on that train where just the other night I, I sent you a glass. You did, and I'm you like, do. "What's in the glass?" And I sent it with a beautiful floral arrangement. And what did you think was in that? I thought it was bourbon for sure, of some kind. Because you know, we all know. You are our bourbon and whiskey guy. Correct. And what did I blow you around away with? You never did tell me what it was. You said I it was told bourbon. You, I didn't told tell you me it was it. tequila. What? Yeah, I told you it was tequila. Oh, I missed that then. It was an I thought it was bourbon. It was an anao. We all know then that must have been an Antanasio. It really was. <laughs> that is is what I happen to have at home. That is oh is God. what made the week just a little bit easier to get oh. by. So drop us a comment. What makes your e- week easier to get by? Is it gin? Is it vodka? Is it tequila? Is it bourbon? Is it scotch? If I'm what missing something, drop it in the comments. Because we got a spot that maybe has it's almost Uzo. maybe it's grease, it's ouzo. Yeah, that it's has ouzo. almost everything in their bar. Oh, and trust we gotta us, get back there. we, gotta we get back will there. we will go check it out. And and I can't remember her name, but she was willing to give. Wasn't us, it Jessica? Jessica, she was She's willing there. to give us anything that you guys wanted to put up for a challenge. So, please, drop it in a comment here on YouTube. It's going to be posted to Instagram, so on Instagram as well. And I am going to try to get a couple updates on Facebook. 
And then I'm going to battle with them about how, yes, I get this is adult content, and I get that this is, you know, something that they aren't used to, but I am going to post on YouTube, on Facebook as well. All right. So, let's tell everybody what we're getting on the nose. We already did that. I think we're at the cheers part. Because we're getting vegetal, we're getting agave, we're... Cheers, brother. Getting... It's everything I want from a Blanco. You know, when I first started this, I liked Repos and Añejos better. I liked Aged a little bit better than Blancos, but I'm becoming more of a Blanco fan. And... I need to go in for a second drink. Excuse me, y'all. For everything I want to smell when it comes to a Blanco, this has. This has beautiful cooked agave, light pepper, a little bit of a citrus, maybe mint almost. It was right. weird on the palate. I get all that plus a little bit of chocolate. Mmm. kind of get that. Number one, I do get cooked agave. Number two, I get kind of a mint, maybe a citrus or... You know what's very but disturbing I do get, about their bottle? I get a cooked agave first, but I almost get... I wonder if you can see that. So the roux is actually first, but if you look below it, it says you should pronounce it co co roux. I love it. Coca roux spirits. Oh, what does it say? Yeah, Coca roux spirits. Right, but when I look at it, I'm like, Urkako. Because <laughs> we so all know I I'm still, special. I, well, you know, Mama said you were special. You rode that bus. I'm just saying. Sure wasn't the <laughs> short bus because I don't drive no short bus. Whatever. Um, for Blanco, I actually almost get a little chocolate carry, carry or carry. Well, that was weird. Chocolate. There's a, like a cherry. creamy chocolate like tootsie roll like. Yeah. No, I'm not getting the cream that I normally get from my, one of my favorites right now. Like, my go-to at the moment is that Siempre's. Oh. It's right there. It's right there. That Siempre's um, Rebel. Rebel. Which, you've done a review. We we both did a we've review. We've done a review. Guys, this stuff is amazing. I don't know why. I'm stuck on that bottle right okay, now. Okay, I'm not going to tell you what is on the nose today because it is not good to me. Tastes like pasta, like, <laughs> it smells like, pasta? like, tomato pasta sauce. I'm like, mm -mm, we know that's Have not right. Have you ever seen that meme? We know it's that's like, not right. Fuck? Anyways. Please check out our previous content. We are up to, what, about 80 videos? Yeah. No, videos? No, we're over 100. Okay, we're over a hundred videos and shorts um, where we have not only recommended businesses, local, foreign, and domestic, but also some of our local um, liquor stores that we absolutely love. I'm not gonna, I don't want to take the time to shout those out right now, but we do still love you. Yep. And then as well as lots of wonderful tequilas. Um, from El Torsoro to <laughs> Male... El Toro. That's what I said. To yeah, Male sure. Beta. <laughs> you might have dragged that out a little bit <laughs> to too far. For the Lisa to Antinazio, or, or as our friends say, Antin... What's your friend? Nozio. What's your <laughs> yes, please. Help us out. Drop us a comment. Have some wa no. water by your... Typing to make sure you can type it clearly. Check out our penguins. And always remember. You know, one of the things we haven't talked about before we close out is price. So the Plata 
is seventy nine ninety nine, and this I'm one unfortunately not available in Michigan. No, it is not. But I bought this from a wonderful. If you are in a state that can get anything from Z's Old Town, I can't. I'm jealous. I'm extremely jealous because we need to use our tequila mule. Ryan, we love you. Uh, we really do. I know we, that. Really, really love I you. know that you're okay with a few bottles, which I really do appreciate. I get that. That sometimes our best friend goes overboard and wants you to bring back eight to ten to twelve <laughs> bottles, which I understand is excessive. But we appreciate you. Yes. Um, Aunt Lori, we're oh gonna God, shout yeah. out to you as well. You because just got done. You do send us a lot that we can ship to you, and, and you... It's, to and, me, it's Cousin Lori. It's Cousin. Cousin, 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 cousin I Lori. know, but I've called her Aunt Lori for so <laughs> long. She knows the difference. <laughs> and, and... I love you. And Anna, the same with you. You know, you You're guys amazing. don't think twice about it. You get an honest way to us. Yeah. We love you. We appreciate you so, so much. Um, side note, Michigan is a liquor controlled state. So in order for us to get the amazing tequila that we bring to you, we actually have to revert to different, um, options. Delivery options. Delivery options. So we can deliver it to our cousin and then our cousin can send it to us or our one of our best friends, and that's Ryan. Ryan, you're amazing. We appreciate Ryan and Steve. Correct. Um, they're they're literally down the road from the best uh, liquor, liquor store. store, and that's that's Old Town. This uh, Old Town. What is Old Town? Z's Old Town. Yeah, that's how it is. It's Z's Old Town. If you Google it, it'll come up. Anyways, they're literally down the street from them for like five minutes away from their house. And they're able to get this. This is where we got this from. from. Uh, Z Old Town has it for a price of $79.99. They do have one other expression, which we don't have. And that is the Hoven. Remember, a Hoven is a mixture of the Blanco and the, the or whether, no, no, actually, it's just a mixture of okay. one of the other Expressions. Yeah. Okay. So it could be a mixture of a Blanco and a Repo, or a Blanco and an Añejo, or all three. It's just a mixture. Okay. Either way, this is just the Blanco. And when it comes to a score of 90 on Tequila Matchmate, I'm, I'm not going to... I'm not going to challenge that. I'm not arguing that as well. It it's is so absolutely good. delicious. Yes. Um, but we appreciate you tuning in. Remember that life is short. Don't forget to sip, savor, and, and celebrate. celebrate. Cheers, guys. Have a wonderful day.